Yo, Faisanta here. So let's get down to business. Many people in Dragao Loss have complaints when it comes to bull adventures being underwhelming, they have some problems that need to be fixed or tweaked. So let's start with the focus strike. So the main thing with the focus strike for bow users is how slow it is when you actually target an area. So you notice that after I let go of this area, the target will then shoot an area, I will wait a bit, and then it'll come down. And then by, by that time, the, either the unit will probably be gone or moved out of the way. So to make this better, I can think of probably two ways using around the same animation. Okay, so the first way kind of makes less sense, but when you're charging, you can just straight up just shoot an arrow into the sky. And then when you let go, then it'll just start from here and it's just start falling down onto the area. Um, the next way is to just have it, like if I target there, just, I'm gonna use my mouse here. You can see my mouse. Have the arrow just volley into that area, just starting from here. So it'll be more like the wand in a way, right? It'll be pretty instant or at least faster. Just hit that area. So yeah, that segue into another thing where the wand and the bow have different dynamics compared to the others. So if you notice with the others, um, their attack kind of starts, the origin of the attack kind of starts from the character itself, like the ax or the lance, it just starts from there and you just pick a direction. So I was thinking maybe you can change the bow or maybe the want to, but the bow to be a directional thing. So you don't have to deal with also direction and space. So just with direction. So make it easier to target kind of thing. Um, so one idea would involve changing the moves completely kind of, but just shoot like a giant arrow into that area. And um, for one, it could probably be like, just shoot that ball that comes out and it would just blow up at the end or something like that. Uh, another way is to just shoot randomly into that cone of, you know, the regular five, uh, the five attack spread that it has here, that cone area. Oh, you can't even see. That cone area. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That, that cone at the end of the, on the fifth hit, you could just randomly just shoot into that direction, like a few shots. I don't know. But, um, those are just some random ideas that I'm just thinking of. Um, and the next thing is the attacking. So if you notice the way that the attack works is the, it does a small spread of three and then she's two and another small spread of three and then she's two and then she does a cone of five, right? A small, a spread of five. So here complains of how low the damage output is, um, because sometimes the arrows don't hit the enemy and you know, like only one arrow hits the enemy. But, uh, in my opinion, I feel like the archer is more like an AOE centric kind of thing when it comes to attack, especially when all the arrows pierce. Um, and sometimes you can get lucky, right? And hit them with, hit the one enemy with like multiple arrows, especially like bosses and stuff. Um, there is a damage penalty when you hit closer, like they're in a close range compared to far range. Um, but I figure that's what they need to balance the, the range attacker. So this is a problem in general with range adventures, not just the bow. But um, the targets keep changing, like even if you like roll or move, then it changes, it like recalculates the target. And then sometimes it doesn't even get to the one that you're um, focusing on, or it doesn't even pick the one that's closest and then it might pick something over there. It's just kind of weird. Um, it doesn't lock down on an enemy. Like when, so when you're targeting, you're attacking and the monster spawns, it's okay. But when when you move or do something, then it kind of recalculates and it might target something else. So um, I feel that unless the target you're hitting is out of range, um, then it should recalculate in a way instead of you moving. Like maybe that could be like a, I don't know, you can do something with both. You can balance in between those, but that's one of the things I think could probably make a better. Or when you tap into when you tap to attack, right? Maybe you can just shoot in the direction you're tapping. So if I tap down here, I want it to shoot down here. Or when I tap over there, I want it to shoot down over there or back there or behind me. Um, so that will at least make it better to, you know, navigate shooting with range user in general. Um, so the next thing I just, just thought of like randomly, but it would be nice if there was like a training mode like it's the arena, like an empty circle clean map with like a dummy unit on like one side and a cluster of dummies on the other side. So you can practice single target or multiple targets 
Um, and then there's like a reset button that resets the position of everything in the map. I don't know, just a nice quality of life. But um, yeah, so those are just my thoughts. If you have any opinions um, or comments, let me know. And then um, we could totally discuss. I also stream pretty much 30 minutes before reset every day, almost every day. So feel free to just drop in and also um, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, later days.